Hundreds of Edmontonians gathering here at the TELUS World of Science to view the partial solar eclipse Monday afternoon, with some sky watchers waiting years for the event. You know, the, the sky is for everyone, so you just, you know, love sharing this with, uh, with, well, with the public. John Woolley spends his time volunteering, sharing his love of the stars and sky with others. He tells me that over the last 40 years, he's traveled across Canada and to the Caribbean to see solar eclipses in his lifetime. While Edmonton only had a partial total eclipse, Woolley was one of the many out with his telescope to witness the celestial event. With many young families out to view the eclipse, Woolley hopes it leads to a lifelong love of astronomy. Satisfying, I guess, is the word, you know, to, to see their response when they, uh, when they you know, see something for the first time. Much of eastern Canada got the full or near full eclipse. Edmonton still received a little bit of a solar show, starting just before noon and ending nearly an hour and a half later. Hundreds lined up to view the eclipse through proper telescopes. The TELUS World of Science recorded and streamed the eclipse to viewers online. Volunteers hoping children in the crowd know this could be a potential career option. You may not realize, oh, that's something that's really awesome, or that's something that I'm really interested in because this stuff might become their jobs one day if they really fall in love with it. But organizers say Alberta will get to view a total solar eclipse 20 years from now, which means plenty of time to stake out a spot. That eclipse in, on August 22nd, 2044 will be visible through almost all of Alberta, including the mountain parks, Calgary, Red Deer, Edmonton. Uh, there is a particular region in the shadow called the center line, so that goes up uh, a certain region of Alberta, and that's where you would actually ex expect to have the greatest duration of totality. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.